The Force USA G12 All-in-One Trainer has been updated for 2024, and I'm here to give you my honest reaction right after that. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the home studio. And as I said in the top of this video, Force USA is updated. Their very popular G12 all-in-one trainer model for 2024. And in this video, we're gonna take a look and react off the announcement video they put up on YouTube a few days ago. And then we're gonna to go to the Force USA website to the G12 product page and get a more detailed reaction and detailed review. And also we're gonna put on our headphones so I can listen to the sound of the announcement here. It's pretty exciting. Uh, man, this is gonna make me wanna buy a G12. <laughs> we'll see when we watch this. Let's go right to the announcement. This is Chris from Force USA, and this is our brand new Force USA G12 all-in-one trainer. Uh, a few of the changes that we've made on the new machine or the new version, uh, is we've changed the front slider pulleys. So we've made your handle knurled instead of powder coat black. Oh, I like that. They knurled this inside part right here. And, you know, you have one-handed operation. Like I had the G15 Pro for a long time. And you can move everything up and down with one hand very easily. That's a great design. But adding the knurling, a lot of people like that. To me, it's six or one half a dozen the yard. But the knurling gives you a better grip with one hand to go up and down. So that's a, that's a nice upgrade right there. The next one, I, I watched some of the video. The next one's small but it makes a huge difference, especially trying to swap out carabiners and stuff like that. I really like this next thing that they've done. Also changed the pins to a nice stainless steel design. Also changed the front cable end to make it easier to take carabiners in and out for all of your attacks. Right there, just the thickness and the, the size of the hole right there and the nature of the way they designed that or upgraded the design. Very, very nice. That's a good job. Might not seem like a big deal, but when you're swapping out carabiners and stuff like that, when you have limited ones, it, it really does make a difference and make it much easier uh, to install and uninstall the carabiners. My God, I, I pronounced it correctly two or three times, my Philly accent. Let me get out of here before I mess up. I'm not going to say it again. Detachments. <laughs> Going from there onto our pull-up bar. Uh, so we've changed the design of our pull-up bar so that it's higher. It's actually in line with the top pulleys on the top of the machine. That's a nice upgrade too, because height is one thing. We've done plenty of measurement videos here. Check them out because you really want to measure your space, especially with an all-in-one trainer or any kind of power rack, squat rack, whatever you have. The height is always limited. We're really blessed to have 12-foot ceilings in here and even higher in the garage gym. But our previous apartment gym had very low ceiling. So we were very limited on which all-in-one trainers or products in general that we could place in the home gym. So the, the wheels are always going to be the highest part on these all-in-one and multi-trainers, at least from Force USA. And putting it in line with that does not sacrifice anything. You're going to know whether it fits or not. So once again, measure your space before this huge coffin box comes. You assemble it, realize it's too high, and then you got to send it back and get another one. But that's a great upgrade. Also, the angle on the pull-up bars look like it's a little bit more in line with um, not so, I think it's 45 degrees, but it was a little bit more than 45 on the G15 Pro and other ones. So that's a nice upgrade too. 
So it means you get more range. We've made this whole bar knurled as well and changed the design. So oh, nice. An angle. It's got a much better feel for the movements for any pull-ups, chin-ups. Moving back to the middle of this machine, another change that we've made uh, is the Smith bar. So we've actually got a storage hook. So the previous version of this used to stop here. What we've yeah. done is we've added another hook at the top. These are nice little design changes and upgrades, in my opinion, are upgrades. Um, it's not like if you had a previous G12 that you would be hurting or these changes are so much more than that. But the little touches on the 20, 20, 2024 model seem so far to be really, really good. I watched up to the carabiner part, but this part's new. And that's definitely for taller users are a really good thing to have. So I'm six foot. Mm -hmm. I can get underneath that, a lot easier to use when you're not using the Smith bar, so it's out of the way. What we've also done is made three adjustment points for your leg press plate at the top, so it wasn't just the one in the middle, so you've actually got a lot more. Oh, that's nice right there, yeah. I never noticed on the G15 Pro and other ones, there's only one uh, point of adjustment there, but having three of them for different people that want different positions on the leg press, that's, that's a really nice touch too. ...there to use your leg press from there, we move to the back of the machine. So what we've done is we've squared off the plate holders on this machine. It used to be on a 45 degree angle. So we've squared that off. What that does allow is- um, He's gonna say something, I'm not quite sure. You know, squaring it off as opposed to 45 degrees. I like the little bit of the design on that one there, but there's probably more functional reason for this. And I've noticed there's, there's more hooks up top. We'll probably get to that. There's more space internally on the machine. It, it allows you to get a bench in oh, here and do an incline press, uh, as you couldn't do that on the previous Oh, okay. Machine. So still keeping its comp. I take it back. Yes, I remember that when I was at the Force USA headquarters, that 45 degree thing did get in the way a little bit with incline presses, especially with myself being taller. Okay, I take it back. That's a, that's a nice, um, that's a nice design change. Compact design, uh, but increasing the internal space so it feels a lot bigger when you are using the machine. Another change that we've made on the G12 is that we've changed the front uprights to be more in line with the rest of our range. So you can buy any of our attachments now uh, that have the 16 to 17 mil pin on there, uh, and you can use that on the G12 now previously. I remember when I was at the headquarters, this has been a major goal with Forest USA, and I love the fact universal compatibility amongst uh, mostly all the all-in-one trainers, and I believe maybe the multi-trainers, don't quote me on that. But what's working towards is that one attachment will work for many, many different all-in-one trainers across the entire lineup, so they don't have, I guess, multiple SKUs, and it's not fragmented if you're an old... Uh, Android fan, you remember fragmentation. So that's what they were trying to eliminate. And I believe they're right there um, at basically getting to the goal of having universal compatibility and less, if not no, fragmentation along the lineup for the attachments and the compatibility. That's a, that's an awesome, awesome upgrade. The holes were a little bit bigger. Uh, now we can use all of our attachments on these front uprights. Another change that we've made on the G12 that comes standard with all units is you have the option for two different types of J hooks. So we have our rollers, which were very popular on our Force USA G20. We've changed that to a more compact design. So you have the option of both. All you oh, have to wow. do is screw out that front pin. And then we have both versions. So you, now you, we just talked about universal compatibility with the attachments, but now a customization of how you like that. The rolling J hooks, I wasn't too sure about that. I did, I did the review of the G20 and I talked about it a little bit and it seemed cool, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing that kind of stuff. It's easier if it's uneven and you want to move it back and forth, but then it, it's maybe rolling a little bit still, and it's always going to be uneven. You have to, but, but being able to change it out for the, the normal block, the rubber block version of the J hooks, that's a, that's a nice, choice not so much a design upgrade but it is because you get the choice to customize between rolling or the static block uh j -hooks. either be a rolling j hook or your standard j hook option there what we've also done is we've increased the material here on the front to protect your barbell as well as increase the height there um, as per the previous version i did notice that the height of them are much more beefy of course then i don't know how high 
like the shorter ones, you'd be able to put the J hooks a lot higher. And if you're taller, you'd be able to go in for presses, squats and stuff like that. With the length of this, uh, J hook here, it looks like they have a lot of holes to go with, but I wonder if that's going to hurt a taller user that we want the shorter ones, but then it goes closer to those top holes right there. You'd see the, the four exposed. If you want to get it up all the way to the top and have not that huge drop off, I don't know. That's once again, I use six of one, half a dozen of the other. It depends on who you are and what you feel comfortably, what ergonomics you can do. Uh, so jewelry might be still out. When I go out to the headquarters, I'll have to give my thoughts on that and try it out. We've also done is we've made these longer, uh, so they were previously shorter. Uh, so when you unrack that barbell, you have a lot more space now for that safety uh, aspect. Let me know what you think about that, the safety spotters, because, you know, I like, I never used anything quite this, this long as far as that to separate myself from that. But space has always been a premium, no matter where I have an all-in-one trainer in a gym space. So the safety spotters being shorter, I, I didn't really mind. But let me know what you think in the comments. Say it can't hurt to have the extra space. But then again, if you don't have a lot of space out from your from your all one trainer, who who knows? So, you know, still they're they're making changes and they're making bold moves like this. This is a, this is a good thing. Never resting on on your company's laurels. That's good. Fuck this machine. The last few changes that we have on this machine, uh, the storage hooks that were previously yeah, at a waist like height, we've now put them up. So you have a lot more uh, space to move. I like that a lot. You can put those up there. All right. And then you still have all this space. You're not worried about hitting any of your attachments that are hooked up there. Uh, we've also changed the uh, pins in the weight stack uh, to have them steel now. So it matches the aesthetic of the rest of the machine. Very cool. All steel pop pins. So we're going to keep a lot of the same features that are on this. Uh, Little little side note, I want to know if they're going to sell that storage thing in the back. You see that thing in the corner over his right shoulder in the back? That's that's cool. I got to see if it's on the website. I, I want one of those for sure. This machine as they were on the old machine. Uh, so Oh, once again, I wonder if they include that with the G12. I'm not sure. If it's separate, that's, that's a great item. So you don't have to have a paint board on the wall or any of that stuff. You can just roll around the attachment uh, caddy. That's awesome. It is a pegboard technically, and but it's on on wheels. I, I like that a lot. A few of those things are we've kept the one to one cable ratio in this machine. You guys love that, so we kept it. That's that's something. He, he kind of glossed over, or maybe he's going to talk a little more about it. There's a lot of things in the lineup now that are two to one. You know, almost all of them two to one, and in my case with the G15 Pro, two to one and four to one, which I love the scalability. I still think the G15 Pro is kind of a sweet spot with the scalability for multiple people using it. But one-to-one -one cable pulley ratio, some people did not like the fact that they were going to two-to-one, and a lot of companies were going to two-to-one cable pulley ratios, meaning if you have 100 pounds, it's going to be 50. If you have 50, it's going to be 25. One-to-one -one means true 100 pounds, true 50, which means you can have less... Um, less plates in the stack and have a true thing or have the same amount of plates, but have true weight, more weight, where I would say the G15 Pro, 100 pounds is 50 on the on the two to one and 25 on the four to one. So uh, the fact they're giving people choices of do you want a one to one cable pulley ratio or do you want two to one or do you want two to one and four to one? It's nice. It's nice to have choice like that. Uh, we've also uh, kept the counterbalance on the Smith bar. Uh, to make it a lot safer moving up and down counterbalance means zero pounds so usually they had like 35 at one time some of them are 45 on some of the all-in-one trainers with the smith machine this starts at zero pounds which for my wife starting out like that 35 pound bar with the smith machine was too much for some exercises for her so the fact they have a zero pound counterbalanced uh bar for the smith machine is very good what we've also done is we've increased the weight stack. So it was previously 90 kilos per stack. We've made it 100 kilos or 220 pounds with the option of a fractional plate um, upgrade. So you do have that option to add smaller increments for your weight stack to be able to do. Yeah, there's a third party that sells those little, uh, you know, fractional plates. The fact that you had, Force is going to sell them 
and make them compatible with theirs is great. I, I don't know if it's going to be compatible with all the lineup, but it, but it should be because it's just a pin thing and you add it there or it may, it doesn't look like they will put it on top. It looks like it'd be the front, uh, installed fractional plate. I'll have to get more information on that. Uh, smaller jumps in weight as you move up through your training. So those are the changes on the new Force USA G12 all-in-one trainer. Uh, be sure to head to your nearest store to check it out. Uh, if you're looking online, it's gonna be forceusa.com. If you're in Australia, it's gonna be gymandfitness.com.au um, or head to one of our global distributors uh, to get your hands on this new machine. Nice, very cool, very cool, very cool. Let's go over to the website now and check it out. Here is the Force USA G12 all-in-one trainer product page. And it is right now temporarily out of stock. I don't know if it's just sold out quick because this, that video, that announcement video that you saw, that was like three days ago. So if they have already sold it out, which means it's immensely popular or it's not yet available, uh, but we'll be following up on that and doing uh, Instagram stories, YouTube shorts when that is available. But let's take a look here. We have the pictures of everything. You see the low row plate there. And also there's a front view. We're going to look at the dimensions of this too. They've done a great job uniforming the lineup and the look of everything. It is really, really nice. Here's the price, $44.99, so basically $4,500. Of course, we'll say at the end, you can use forceusa.com forward slash TV and save on top of that or any other sales that are going on. You can see up here, they have a spin freely spring sale. Even if you buy something, you get that free cardio bike right now for a limited time. While supplies last, you can use forceusa.com forward slash Stevie and stack the savings. And they've been really cool with our audience. And also you can see here, we did a Force USA all-in-one trainer app uh, overview. I have to go back today and use it. Lifetime access to the training with the app. That's a nice touch right there. And you can see here, updated for 2024, stack but plus plate loaded weights. So meaning power rack functional trainer, all that stuff. 11 and one, uh, two 220 pound weight stacks. I have a one-to-one -one cable pulley ratio, which is huge, compatible with the training app. 20 attachments included, the counterbalance Smith machine, meaning zero pounds. Uh, six weight plate holders. You saw those, they're not 45 degrees, now they're straight. And it's recommended for home use. So not technically a commercial uh, piece of equipment, and they're right up front with that. But there is a lifetime structural warranty if you use it for home use. You don't use it out by the beach like I'm, my crazy mind wants to, or in a commercial setting, that will void the warranty. But for your home use, we, you know, I guess I don't know how many people or how much usage, but I'm sure a big family in a home setting would be fine. But I will double check on that. I will know for sure. Here's the one-to-one -one cable pulley ratio. All the stuff we just talked about. Designed to fit in smaller workout spaces. So we're going to look at the dimensions real quick down here. You can see everything it offers, including a vertical leg press. And here we go right here. Here's all the attachments, roller J hooks, but you have the option to change those out. Safety spotter arms, landmine, multi-grip landmine handle, uh, the dual hook straight bar that will go across for that. Uh, that was a little trick with the two to one that you could turn it into a one to one, but they, they still offer that lap pull down bar, small straight bar for push downs, closed grip handle, V bar, nylon stirrup handles, uh, nylon. Let me pronounce that correctly. Body weight assist strap. We saw that, I think in the, you know, overview kind of highlight reel of that, that they were using that. Um, we could show that again if we didn't show it in the beginning. Ankle strap, um, pull down rope, low row foot plate, light press is included. The light press is not an, an upgrade attachment. That's nice. Uh, lap pull down knee holder, uh, dip handles. Love those newly designed dip handles. Two Olympic collars, two extension chains, and six carabiners. I pronounced it correctly once again. We also have. Uh, the question and answer and FAQ, which is awesome. I love the fact they added this. All the questions are answered. I wish it came assembled, but it doesn't. The assembly, I still recommend you pay for the assembly. Let's go to specs here. Exterior, 76 inches wide, 56 inches deep, 88 inches high, which is great because the ones I used were 89, like the old G6 and stuff like that. So they, they shaved an inch off it on the height. Very nice. Interior, 40 inches wide, 
45.5 deep, 77 inches high. The weight rating is still the same. And then you see the pulley ratio is one to one. That's awesome. So really great stuff. I can't, I can't. This is an awesome upgrade. They did a great job upgrading this. I don't know if it sold out, like I said, or if it's not yet available. But that is our reaction uh, video to the brand new Force USA G12 all-in-one trainer updated for 2024 at the time of this recording. I think it's a definitely, definitely an upgrade. Now, if you already have a G12, these are small changes and stuff, but they do make a big difference, in my opinion. If you don't have a G12, this might be the new sweet spot. But like I said about the Force USA G15 Pro, that two to one and four to one cable pulley ratio in my road to recovery and also with my wife and multiple people working out on it had great scalability. That would be the word I would use. But, you know, the bang for the buck, the value proposition for the weights with a one to one cable pulley ratio and the fractional weights, the fractional weights could be that sweet spot where you can add the lighter weight right there. And that could be your two to one and four to one cable pulley ratio with the fractional weight. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk about those and see if Force USA is going to offer them, but please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Notified. There is, I could, I could say carabiner, but not notified Philly accent. So let me know in the comments what you think about the G12. And also, like I said, forceusa.com forward slash TV to save on the G12 and anything else in the Force USA lineup. Most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.